My name is uh, Audrey Agley, and our farm is Smith & Agley's Potbelly Manor in North Kingston. Okay. Look at these guys. We selected everybody off for a lot of different reasons. Some of the animals don't get along, um, so we section them off in their own areas so they're more comfortable. This is Ariel, she's my star. Ariel goes on promotion tours for me. She makes me money now and then. She just went to a nursing home yesterday. Oh, Come on. Ariel's house broken. She's easy to take care of and she's full grown, which is really unusual. They're, they're usually a lot bigger. And meal time is their favorite time, isn't it, Christian? They love to eat, they love their meals. They get fed twice a day. At four in the morning I start, around 3.30 at night we feed again. That's Ziggy. We're giving Ziggy a treat now before he eats, but he'll eat anyway. Pigs eat no matter what you do, whether you give him a treat or not, they'll eat their food. These are ducks we just rescued. Bert and Ernie are the ducks. Sonny and Cher are turkeys. And we got lots of pigeons. I haven't named all the pigeons. We got like 38 pigeons, so I don't really name them all. They're all rescues. They've all came here for a different reason. Now, in the, this is the main part of our, our farm. That's Wickford. Wickford just turned a year old. He's my steer. Wickford I got because they, um, they kill steers. They kill bulls. They don't keep them anymore. So I took Wickford at three days old. We bottle fed him and he, uh, he's very calm, as you can see, he likes eating. I get different volunteers at different times. On the weekend, I have three or four volunteers that come by. And during the week, I have other volunteers that come at 3.30 when I get out of work and they help me feed and clean again. So every day I have volunteers that help me feed and clean. Um, the llamas are from a petting zoo. They came here because um, in the petting zoo they like them small. So as the animals get big, they don't want them. Okay, what do you got, Trace? And apple pie for the pigs. Malachite. She brings pies for the animals, and believe it or not, these animals love pies. They get it like once a week when she comes. We don't give pies that often. It's it's not very good for them, but everybody needs a dessert right now and then. So. Is that yummy? Of course. Oh my god, look at his mouth, it's so cute right now with all of that all over it. Looks like he has lipstick on. And there's a lot of, I mean this isn't a pleasant job as far as we get really dirty, you clean a lot of poop, and uh, we, we're constantly in, in, in and out of dirt. So I'm thankful for the volunteers, I'm very lucky to have them. A lot of different people for different reasons come on the farm. So the animals being friendly is absolutely huge. A friendly animal is the best animal. So um, when we get them older and abused, it's a little bit harder and gaining their trust takes time. But um, they work through it and they get friendly and they get to know that we're good to them and they get used to our routine. They still don't like the vet. <laughs> they all know the vet. Try that pie thing. thing. Yeah, the pie thing. <laughs> you know what, when there's vet in the property, you can have anything in your hand. They do not come to you. <laughs> The chase is on to catch them. <laughs>